Okay, next up, we're going to do some main New York City factory footage. Um, it's a special main factory yeah, footage. Yeah, um, I'm going to narrate some of them, and then some of them are videos. Okay. So here we go. Main New York City factory footage. We did this this week. Yeah, so Angel um, is shipping our uh, critical essential orders to places in New York, to places around the USA. These are mostly... Uh, Scientists, Tons doctors. of components, yeah. So yeah. these, these are... Um, we're keeping up. Um, we might have to have uh, some more help, but right now, I think Angel was the only one on uh, part of shipping, so I have a little video. Mm. This is Angel, and she's running this whole place right now. How are you doing, Angel? Pretty good. Shipping a bunch of orders. Definitely are. You staying sane in here? Staying alone. <laughs> nice and safe. Good distance. Nice and safe. See you later. And then here's Michelle cutting some plastic. Let's get the sights and sounds here. Cool. We are reconfiguring and retooling our uh, workplace to cut huge amounts of the plastic and foam so we can make these face shields. And here's some of the sections and then we're experimenting with the, uh, some of the things that we saw out there uh, this is one of those it's an aerosol box. aerosol boxes yeah some some doctors not you know this is still a very new invention um, it's a box that helps uh, if, a, if a doctor or a nurse uh, has to perform uh, some procedure on a person and they want to minimize the number of aerosols that could get into uh, the medical professional's face um, this aerosol box, it, you know, it has holes in it so you can put your hands through and it covers uh, the top of the person's head but gives them enough room to move around uh, and, you know, if you need to intubate or check somebody out or move them around, uh, this can yeah. be very helpful. So we prototyped uh, a design. We'll, we'll publish up the files. Um, we're still talking to different uh, groups and hospitals to see if it's useful. Um, not clear yet whether yeah. people need it. And here's a time lapse. Um, we had a we have two laser cutters running now, um, so we can do more high speed cutting of the plastic. Uh, gave us a good excuse to get our Glowforge plugged in. Yeah, we had this for like a couple of years. Uh, we got the filter just had now. it for a while. So now good uh, timing. Yeah, we were alternating the epilogue and the Glowforge. Yeah. If uh, you know Colin, here's Colin, and then here's one of them. And these are meant to be low cost and disposable face shields. Yeah, do you want me to model one? Uh, we will in a second. Okay. Uh, here's Dano. Here's Dano Dano's online. leading this at Adafruit, so uh, thank you so much, Dano, for doing this and uh, just taking good care of our team and yourself, and you'll be helping out a lot of people. Uh, here's Lady Ada. With, uh, we were doing stuff at the factory last night, and uh, real quick, uh, here, if you hand that to me. Yes. No. Yeah, so the mannequin. Yeah, that's a good idea. So yeah, it's important to have like clearance. You want to have the top covered, uh, but this is just a foam, disposable yeah. foam-based one, very similar to the kind that normally you'd be able to buy, but you can't buy them right now. That's right. Okay. And that is, made in New York City. Factory footage. Factory footage. Okay.